it's a common it's a common challenge that I know and it'd be interested to get your opinion on this, Jason, but like it's a common challenge I speak to a lot of people who are in that startup phase that kind of unrealistically expect marketing to be a lot less expensive than it is. Um, I think there's some false expectations in there. I think there's a, it's a little bit, it seems fairly simple from the outside until you start to see all of the tasks and roles and things that need doing that come under that. Is that your experience as well? Is that something? <laughs> yeah. So I always say as a benchmark, 7% of your annual revenue should be dedicated to marketing. That doesn't need, doesn't mean it all needs to go to your digital marketing agency. You could be doing print ads, going to conferences, all that type of stuff. But 7%. So seven. if you're a million dollar company, $70,000 should be dedicated specifically to marketing. We do it ourselves and we recommend anybody else do it as well. So if you tell me you're $100,000 a year business, the math is easy, right? So for us, when I hear I have a budget of $70,000 in a year or 7% of a million dollars to spend on marketing, I can go to the table and be like, okay, based on that, I recommend doing this and this. And if you have a lower annual revenue, then obviously we make sacrifices where we think sacrifices need to be made yeah i think the other thing to consider if you're a small business as well is that kind of services exchange that you can get into with other small businesses if you meet a marketing business that maybe needs the services that you provide it's always worth asking the question could you do us some marketing support um, for free and in return we'll give you the same sort of value back without exchanging money between the two businesses to save on the tax and and everybody comes out of that looking a bit more professional, right? Oh, 100%. Obviously, there's there's deals to be had, partnerships. Like for us, we have equity partnerships with some of the businesses we work with. We own a percentage of a landscape company. And through that, we focus on the marketing aspects. We're incentivized by the growth of the business and, and dividend payouts. And uh, through that, the marketing's taken care of. It's not an, addition, an additional expense to pay for the management of that marketing. We work with certain SaaS companies as well, where we have the same type of arrangement. So it's, there's definitely benefits to that. Obviously, we need to be very picky with the businesses we choose to partner with, as any business should. You got to be careful of the businesses you partner with, right? Something may sound very opportunistic, but and we've learned this from mistakes. So you can spend a lot of time down certain avenues that just don't reap the results you had hoped for. Everything sounds good at the inception of the idea, but naturally over time, things fade, right? Interest fades. It's, it's, it's like going on a date and, and your first date is the most exciting it's ever going to be. If that's oh, not yeah. ticking the boxes for you, even then you've got a question, what's it going to be like <laughs> in three months, six months time? So definitely. Yeah, it's a hundred percent.